Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of The Spill. My name is Dana Cadonas. And my name is Riley Broand. President Hashim Tachi of the Republic of Kosovo, who served during the Yugoslav Wars, resigned on Thursday and will face charges for crimes against humanity and war crimes at the International Criminal Court in The Hague in the Netherlands. The charges include murder, enforced disappearances, persecution, and torture. Tachi, a commander of the Kosovo Liberation Army during the war, said he was proud to have belonged to that force, calling it the most sublime value of the Albanian nation. He called the indictment the smallest price we have to pay for the freedom of our people. Bradley County surpasses the local voting records that were made in 2016. There are over 35,000 votes in this election in Bradley County alone, which is a whole lot more than the 930 votes that were here in 2016. Uh, after news outlets declared on Wednesday that Joe Biden had won Wisconsin's 10 electoral votes, the Trump campaign announced it would ask for a recount in the state. The margin of votes separating Trump and Biden in Wisconsin is 20,000 votes, or less than 1%. It was absentee ballots in the cities of Milwaukee, Green Bay, and Kenosha added to county totals Wednesday morning that appear to have put Biden on top. Wisconsin was part of the so-called blue wall that Trump shattered last election cycle when he narrowly won the state by less than 23,000 votes in 2016. Veterans Day is coming up, so make sure to wear red, white, and blue to so show your support for all the amazing shoulders that <laughs> fought for our country. Also, Key Club is going to be selling donuts all day today, so if you haven't already purchased one, make sure to go check it out before the end of the day. And now for Weathers Weather without Sam Weathers. Hi, my name's Madison Tyler and here's your weekend forecast. Today it will be mostly sunny with a 10% chance of rain with a high of 73 and a low of 47. So, may, so don't worry about bringing an umbrella to, to the football game tonight, but make sure to bring a jacket. Tomorrow, it'll be mostly sunny with a 10% chance of rain and a high of 77 and a low of 55. On Sunday, it'll be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain and a high of 58 and a low of 15, with a high of 78 and a low of 58. That's all for your weekend forecast, and now on to an episode of, of Questions of the Week. Oi! Long ago in a distant land, I, Ethan Evers, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil, but a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. Before the final blow was struck, I tore open a portal in time and flung him into the future, where my evil is law. Now the fool seeks to return to the past and undo the future that is Ethan Evers. So, uh, do you like questions? Not really, man, but you can go ahead and ask. Do you like hypotheticals? Hypothetically speaking, of course. Um, well, hypothetically, maybe. I'm a little mixed on it. So I have a hypothetical. Are you okay with a hypothetical? Not really, man, but you can go ahead and ask. Uh, so what would you do if a, what would you do if a big old honking skier bug uh, hauled your cousin off into the great beyond? My cousin Keith, he's then, my favorite. Imagine a mosquito where it's like 50 times bigger than like a normal mosquito, right? The giga mosquito. Yeah. The mega mosquito, if you will. Wait, which cousin? I have a bunch of them. Uh, what's your favorite one? Probably this dude named Caden. Yeah, him. What if what if Caden got drug off to the Great Beyond by the big old Skeeter boat and this guy who's whizzing around your forehead? I'd probably, like, take his PS4 from his house. <laughs> what if with the PS4 got on it, though? Uh, I don't know. This is the so, PS4. Like, it's worth so money. You, so you take your cousin's uh, PS4 after the big old Skeeter boat and whizz it around and took it? Yeah, I got car insurance to pay. Like, I have a job, but that would be nice. Understandable. Imagine a mosquito with the size of a bumblebee, right? Oh no. Now imagine that mosquito, but like 75 times bigger, right? The mega skeeter. The mega skeeter. So you're at the family union, right? Yeah, um, your cousins, they're cooking up the pork chop. The uncles, are, they're drinking beers and listening to Pantera. Um, 
So then your cousin Keith, right, he gets a big old mosquito, just comes in, grabs him by the shoulder, and just whisp him off away, right? And you witness the whole thing. How would you feel about that, seeing your cousin get whisked away by a big mosquito? I'd laugh at first and then try to go get him. Let him go. Uh, Here. Grab the point .22 and try to shoot down the big old mosquito. RPG. I'd intervene. Uh, how? I'd tell it to stop. Have him take him with me. Oh, I mean, he can, he's, he's got like two talents, he can only take like one person. Uh, um, so, would you, would you wait for the bus? Would you wait for the next bus stop, so to say? Yeah. Happy. Why? Because Mosquito Land is the best land. Okay, so you wouldn't stop him, you wouldn't intervene, you just let your friend get taken away by the big Skeeter? No. He'll have a fun time. Really now? Yeah. So you just let him take, get taken away by the big Skeet? <laughs> I mean, if you will, yes. I'd probably, um... Would you try to shoot at it? No. Why not? Because I really have a favorite relative. I'd be jealous. I mean, I want to go to Mosquito Land. I'd ask for a ride. Uh, would you not save your cousin in his time of peril from the Mega Mosquito? I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care about my cousin. I bet he's happy. I'm just gonna let him have fun. Maybe join in. You know. Mosquitoes. Uh, how would you get him? How would you stop the big Skeeter? The... rocks. Uh, would you not shoot him with a point twenty two that your cousin uses for shooting squirrels in the backyard? I mean, if we had that, yeah. I would shoot the mosquito. Uh, with your point twenty two that your cousin uses to shoot squirrels in the backyard? 12 gauge. Okay, do you think that would hit him all the way in the sky? Yes! It, I'm very accurate. I'd probably laugh. You laugh? You think it's funny? You think it's... You, kick, you cringe a little? Yeah, I might try to jump on it and ride it. Shoot it with your point twenty two. Um, maybe. Would you blare Leonard Skinner to make its ears bleed? Yeah. Would you, um... So let's say you were to walk outside one day and got hit by a truck, how would you feel about that? Would you find it funny, hilarious, humorous even? I'd be like, well frick. Off to the hospital I go, I guess. Uh, what if you walked outside and you were walking the road, you looked both ways, but then you got hit by a car either way, how would you feel about that? Disappointed. But not mad. So you're on your deathbed, right? <laughs> so you're on your deathbed in the hospital, and I come into the hospital and I unplug the life support. Uh, what would you do about that? Would you be mad? Would you be angry? Would you be furious? Would you be crossed even? I wouldn't be mad, I'd just be very disappointed. Like I'd past die. visitor hours. I'd die. Why? Because that's my life support. I'd probably rise from my bed and uh, ask her it back. Would you say, would you ask nicely, would you say please? I would yoink it. Uh, okay. But like, why don't you just plug it back in? <laughs> yeah, I'm in my bed. But just get up, it's really easy. What if my legs don't work? What if you lost your leg and then I unplugged your life support, what would you do that? I'd be very sad that I've lost my face. I wouldn't feel anything, I'd probably be dead. What would you do if you had a tiny little, uh, tiny little baby clone of Hitler? Like a just perfect clone of like 55 year old Hitler, but he's six inches tall. I'd play video games with him, probably ask him for an autograph. I'd put him in a gas chamber. I could throw him across the world. Get that out of here. Would you pay retribution to my great grandmama? Or for my great grandmama? Why? Because she's a person. Shoot him. Okay, and why would you shoot him? But it's a clone. So it well, didn't do I it. It's him, a clone, so it didn't do it. Okay. But it's a perfect copy of his brain after he did it. Oh, okay. So he still did those things in his mind, but like, he didn't do them physically. He thought about it. Would you still kill him? Why not? So you're willing to give Hitler a second chance? Yeah, because he's a clone, so he didn't do things, but in his mind he did things. So if you taught him what So is it okay if I think about the Holocaust? No! Let it go in the synagogue and let the Jews have their revenge. To be honest with you, I'd probably punt him. Uh, why would you punt him and how hard would you punt him? Why would I punt him? Well, I just don't like him. And how hard is probably as hard as I can. Well, I'd probably... I don't know, I'd probably help him. Like, with what? Writing a book. <laughs> That'd be funny, I think. I'd help him write a book and maybe paint a picture. And then that's that's really it, man. I'd die with him. Probably give him over to the government. I think they would want him more than I would. What else would you do if you had a tiny little baby clone of Hitler? Would you do bad things to it? <laughs> no, I would just... I just 
leave that thing alone. So, uh, what would you do if you had a tiny little clone of Osama bin Laden? I would probably like nurture him to be a, a good boy, but then no, no, no. But he's like fully developed, but he's just like oh, six inches tall. tall. Oh, I'd probably like turn him into gold and make a statue of him. You gonna know, like cast molten metal over Osama bin Laden, yeah. a little tiny clone of Osama bin Laden? Yeah, probably be a trophy. Da -da 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 -da. For the second consecutive week, the University of Wisconsin canceled a football game because of a coronavirus outbreak in the program. Wisconsin ranked number 10, said on Tuesday that it would not host Purdue on Saturday. Wisconsin reported on Tuesday that at least 15 players and 12 staff members, including Coach Paul Chris, had all tested positive since October 24th. Barry Alvarez, Wisconsin's athletic di director, said in a statement, We have seen a level of improvement in our testing numbers, but not enough to give us confidence to resume normal activities and play our game on Saturday. Alvarez later told reporters in a video conference call that he had never reached the point of being confident. I was hopeful, he said. I thought we were doing the right things. The team has not had practices in a while, and they have been doing all activities online. The Badgers have only played one game this season where they beat Illinois 45-7 on September 23rd. They hope they'll be able to play next week versus Northwestern. And for local sports, in last week's game, Heath Tanksley broke a school record for the most rushing yards. Heath now holds that record with 220 rushing yards. And tonight, our football team will play here at home to host the very first playoff game this season. We'll be playing PAL at 7 o'clock, and tickets can only be purchased online. There will be no tickets at the, at the gate, so go to tssaasports.com to purchase tickets. That's all the time that we have for on The Spill. My name is Logan Bell. And I'm Matthew Carr. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.